leaders. <laughs> People tell them they're leaders. And I've heard that a lot of times. Uh, well, after the break, we we'll speak to someone we know is a leader. <laughs> a leader for definitely. sure. He has shown that. So Chairman Freddie Blay, a leader we speak to this morning on Expressive. I'm excited. I said this earlier. Stay with us. My name is Jackie. My name is Bliss King. We are back after the break. Wake up the champion in your child. Give them energy to go further. Let Milo with Active Go and the natural goodness of malt, milk, and cocoa helps wake up the champion in your child. This advert is FDA approved. Does your toothpaste give you complete fresh protection? New close-up toothpaste complete fresh protection takes care of your five important oral care needs. It gives you strong teeth. Prevents cavities. Cleans deeply. Fights germs. And gives you fresh breath. Complete fresh protection from close up. If you want to really understand what's going on in the world, you need to follow the money. In People and Profit, we tackle the biggest stories in the global economy and break down why they matter to you. From mega mergers to market crashes and those new business ideas that just could change the world. In this economy, it's the show you can't afford to miss. Join us every week for your essential business briefing. People and Profit on France 24 and France24.com. GH1 TV. Your best experience. Well, welcome back. You're still watching Expressive. We are live on GH1 TV. We told you what we're doing today on the show, but we have an astute lawyer, politician. He's done this for so many years, and he has inspired a lot. He has fathered a lot. He has motivated a lot, and we're excited to have this conversation with him, of course, in the light of celebrating fathers of this nation. Blisking. Is there anything else I should add? No, he, has, he has an intriguing name. I said in the intro, yeah. an intriguing name I've always loved. Yeah. Elembele Mugabe. Mugabe. <laughs> Please welcome the chairman himself, Mr. Freddie Blake. Welcome Good to the show. Good day to you, sir. Good afternoon, <laughs> lady and gentlemen. It's good to see you in it's person good, yeah. for many years. And I see that uh, there are lots of plants at your, at your home. Are you, a, are you a plant lover? I love greenery. Mm. You all love greenery. I love gardening. Mm. I love trees. Right. It's true. It's a pity I don't have enough space to grow more trees. Oh, wow. Yes. Do you have a favorite plant you love or a favorite kind of tree? Uh, not, 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 not really. Okay. But uh, any f plant that flowers, so far as I'm concerned, is like. There are some who don't even flower, but they give shade, mm. canopy. Some give good scent, mm. and uh, you know they give coverage and help to stop erosion. Right. And uh, so far as I'm concerned, uh, I love this. I come from the west, ah. where the, it's tropical, mm. equatorial. It almost rains every day. You see, today it's rained. Yeah. When it was raining, I got excited. <laughs> because more trees will grow. Because it will help the plants. Yeah. yeah. So I, I definitely love trees. I love yeah. plants. Yeah. Like. Beautiful. How was um, young Freddie Blay like? Young Freddie Blay. Uh, one is Freddie Blay, the other is Westmount Blay. I have two young. Okay. They are no more boys. They are, they are men. Mm. And then I have one. Young woman, it's, uh, Lucy Blaine, named after my bigger sister. So I have three kids. You have three children. Any of them taking after you, walking in your footsteps, politics? Mm, unfortunately, it doesn't appear so. Unfortunately. But uh, you wouldn't know when. It's uh, two of them did law, one is practicing, mm. the other involved himself in much more business. Mm. And the elder one who didn't do law, did some other subject, got educated in Australia, is in charge of our family business. Right. And uh, they, they, are, they are taking care of themselves. I hope when I'm old and holding my walking sex, <laughs> they will buy my medication. Of course they would. Are you a grandpa? Too now. Okay. Oh, yeah. so, uh, How's the feeling like? 
Unfortunately, my wife didn't give that more. <laughs> but we agreed that three would be enough. Mm. But looking back, if I've had more, like about five or six, maybe I would have been happier. <laughs> doesn't mean that I'm not happy with that. Right. Right. Okay. I guess you're very happy. Right? Mm. And, uh, I believe your wife's name will be Gina Blair. Yes, it's Gina Blair. Can, can you give us a little story about how you met Gina Blair and, and, and the journey? So this far? kind of story is not told by. <laughs> no, it's told it's by who? The women. Oh, are you sure? Well, how many years ago? I can't remember very, but quite a lot when we were students. Oh. Uh, I was then a student in my fourth year law school. Okay. And it was maybe in the second year or so. And then it all happened. Mm. I was, I was uh, a student leader then. Right. Okay. Maybe that's why I, uh, maybe I stood up a little so. And uh, she was so, so such a calm woman. Oh. Very uh, homely and uh, selfless. Yes. So maybe for that reason, we clicked and... Uh, the rest is history. The rest, they say, is history. Is but tell us what has kept your marriage. I mean, what marriage. has kept the fire burning? I, I thought you should ask me what what have not spoiled the marriage. <laughs> not that what has what kept ask the marriage. Want to well. know what has kept it. Yeah, it's the same. I, will, I can't pinpoint anything. Mm. Like, we cope with each other. We tolerate each other. We, we understand each other. We... There are challenges, yes. There are moments that they'll be heated. And there were moments when I was a little naughty. And, uh, and uh, she, wow. she, she, she was patient mm. and was not violent about it. Mm. Well, yes. I must be honest with you, maybe. Uh, sometimes I didn't cross the red light, but mm. I... I I misbehaved a little when I was in my bed. What I admired about her is that invariably she forgave me mm. and still uh, had confidence in me and so as it were, loved me. And also when the children came up, mm. as she loves her children, I love my children. And that is a, a good point where we meet, no matter what. The love of our children kept us together. And later on, we've been friends. We've been friends and uh, trusted each other. And, and for that reason, I don't see anything that will... I guess the friendship is important too. That's a friendship. It's more important mm, than mm. anything else. Mm. You didn't like politics. I was much more involved in politics but somehow she, she also yeah she support you and get cook with it support you now maybe she likes politics more, more than, than I do. <laughs> it's always the case it's, a it's always the case he's uh, an ambassador and he does very well at a job mm. and i believe that he's learned a lot but he was oh, a journalist as well all right communicator so he's good at a job and and that's the most important. You don't cross each other over it. Mm. That's it. Uh, I mean, yes, she's there. And when we were young, uh, maybe it would have been a bit more pressure. Right. Let's talk about you as a father. I mean, raising three kids at the peak of your career, your political career. How was it like for you? I don't know what I said at the peak of my career. But <laughs> oh, you've not gotten to the peak yet. <laughs> ah, I like that. I, I like that. that. <laughs> but... Raising them up, it's been, I think the, 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 the responsibility has been has more. much more than I, I have. Uh, I, I'd say I like them, but maybe you go out a lot and come. Mm. They are there, it's for them. And give them a little quality time when you have it. She understands it. The children grew up, they didn't know my didn't enjoy my company much but i made up for it over time and now that they are grown that they are out they and they are home we are friends that's all particularly the younger one mm. who happens to be the girl woman now this would mean the chambers 
and she's almost in control. So I'm, I'm okay with it. The first one went to the same school that I did. It was lovely that at my old college. Yes, you went to the same school. The, the second one never had a privilege. Fortunately, the mother sent her away early to the U.S. and uh, at a time when he was supposed to go to Addis Ababa, <laughs> he had some notion about Addis Ababa. He says, "No, no, no, no," because uh, the older one was quite not yet. Maybe he took after the father in some way, and he says, "No, he doesn't want the younger one to." And so he sent uh, him away. He came later. He couldn't cope much, was, but at the moment he's doing well. It's, it's, it's okay. He break the family tradition. Or is there a family tradition of going to Addis Ababa? Uh, it's not, I wouldn't say. I was the first person out of my family to go to Addis Ababa. Yeah. My uh, elder brother rather went to Fansipu. My big sister went to rather to Wilson Girls. And uh, it's my sister who influenced me to go to Addis Ababa because family was Methodist. They would prefer Fansipu. And I definitely had it better going to Addis Ababa. Addis Ababa made me up. It was a good school, combined all. And uh, honestly, I feel privileged to have had the opportunity of being in the school at the Saddle. I think everybody's school is a school at this point. But at the Saddle, it's different. I That's all. <laughs> what makes it different? Everybody's school is a school. At the Saddle, it's just. It, it can't be the same. At the Saddle, it's a school. Okay. I'll let us get into politics, everybody. That. I'm sure you'd have one or two things to tell fathers, young fathers like himself. <laughs> <laughs> On the way. On the I have way. one now. He has one. Yeah, one. One is enough. <laughs> no. It is. Well, of course, you could have two or three, but having children around you, it's, 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 a, it's a great experience. Mm. Good. Sometimes it's, it's, it's not easy, particularly when they are very, very, very young and babies mm. and it's, it's a woman i would say father's day i'm told but we celebrate the mother's day more because <laughs> they have the brunt of, of taking care of them. they don't know what kind of feeling that of affiliation they have for their children because maybe it comes from their body so, but some fathers do very well mm. they have their own role to play to make it work and to, Talk to father, but love your children. Educate them. Let them be your friends, even from infancy. Have a certain touch with them. Mm. You know? And uh, you don't do it alone. You are not competing with anybody. Definitely not with your wife. You know, your wife does a little more, you will realize it. But compliment, make efforts to compliment your wife. I do remember when my first boy was a little kid, when it's lightning, when it's raining, it's lightning, he can't, she couldn't sleep. And he was shouting. Then I had to take him to walk through the garden. And it wasn't easy. Mm. But I realized the burden of doing so for my mother. Even when I'm carrying, when I was carrying him, I might even fall asleep. So, so you see that it's, it's, it's not easy. And that gave me a sympathy, not only for the boy, but even for the mother. For the mother. And therefore, uh, if you had a certain connection with your children, you just will enjoy it. Mm. Home will always be home, sweet home. Mm. Nothing can, can make up for the home that you build with your wife. If you, any unfortunate thing happens and... Uh, one of you is lost, the, the, the other should carry on in your memory, the other. But you, the father, we normally go before. The, 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 uh, uh, strangely, I'm told. <laughs> Therefore, we want to make it clear that we give a legacy for them. Mm. And to make sure that we take care of their security, economic security, taking care of them in school, and making sure that they don't have too much of a uh, uh, computing spirit in terms of acquisition. I think it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a normative science. Mm. You can't predict what it is. But I believe that I'm a little lucky that 
I also have three children, not too many. Too many. If I've had too many, maybe I would have loved it. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe you still would have loved it I anyway. I have gone to form a team. Mm. And then, a team. And then we'll be a team. <laughs> it depends on the, the number, the cashes. If you don't have it, the yes, economy, that. economy, business, economy is not easy. It's tough. <laughs> on, that, on that note, you have a favorite football team. Honestly, I don't have a favorite football team outside this country. Even okay. in Ghana. In okay. Ghana, yes, I support 11 wise. They don't do very well these days. <laughs> if I don't support 11 wise, then I'll support Kotoko. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, they, Great. They've yeah. won the league. Wonderful. I'm sure you're excited. Quite excited. About <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they won the league. Yes. They, they won did. the league. Yeah. Let's go for a short break. When we come back, okay. we dive into politics. Stay with us. This Express. Wake up the champion in your child. Give them energy to go further. Let Nilo with Active Go and the natural goodness of malt, milk, and cocoa helps wake up the champion in your child. Nilo. This advert is FDA approved. Does your toothpaste give you complete fresh protection? New Close Up Toothpaste Complete Fresh Protection takes care of your five important oral care needs. It gives you strong teeth, prevents cavities, cleans deeply germs and gives you fresh breath complete fresh protection from close-up burgers for six did you say six open the app ding dong bubble your favorite moment Pass your favorite ice cream ding dong bubble either go on order what you want ding dong bubble order it now order it global and we will deliver ding dong global. in the first two years your baby will experience amazing growth in so many ways. To fuel it, they need the right nutrition. With Cerelac, one bowl of goodness a day provides the wholesomeness of carefully selected grains, the iron plus which helps support brain development, and the yummy taste baby loves, assuring you the right nutrition in one bowl. Cerelac. It's all good, Mom. This advert is FDA approved. Burgers for six. Did you say six? Open the app. Ding dong, bubble. Your favorite moment. Pass your favorite ice cream. Ding dong, global. Either go on. Order what you want. Ding dong, global. Order it now. Order it global and we will deliver. Ding dong, global. Your life on Expressive. Jackie M. Bliss King on your TV this morning speaking to Chairman Freddie Blay. Mm. Let's go into some politics now. It would, it would look as if, if you want to be uh, a, a player in the political world as a young man, you'd have to have a godfather or somebody who would hold your hand into politics. Do you have any figure of that uh, stature who helped you through your political beginnings? I don't, I don't know. I don't want to... Unless you don't want to agree with you that going into this game of politics and you must definitely have a godfather. You may have somebody that you admire. Okay. Somebody who may, may inspire you or a mentor of some sort, which you may not be even related to you. Yeah. You might not know, you might know from a distance, you might have read about it and so forth. But it's, it's a game that you started in school. You know, I said that you used to do a lot of politics because you read about it. You follow here and there. It's a family kind of uh, involvement, and for that matter, maybe you've been influenced from the house, or oh, your friends, or somebody that you admire is involved in it. You follow and you, you do that. But I, I, at the same time, I wouldn't say that I want to do politics and you follow it. It, it comes naturally. It's not. A decision that is a career. Mm. It, 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 it's it's a, it comes along if you are interested in your infancy. You want to. So would you say engage. it's inborn? Is it inborn? Sometimes it, it comes out of. It's it's it's. it's a, Sometimes you learn. Can you learn to be a politician? politician. Yeah, you learn, but of course, in in every. Jurisdiction, you learn something. Go to apprenticeship on the rope. Yes, you do things wrongly, do things right, like get involved, you join a party, 
also. But some of them never just joined the party. Mm. They involved in politics even during military rule. They be involved in agitation, they be involved in uh, going on demonstrations, they be involved in uh, protesters, protesting in the university, and so forth. I've been a student leader as well. So, and it started maybe from school. Then we became, based on what you read, based on the people that you meet, you have to meet somebody who come to give a lecture mm. in your school, when we were secondary school. Then you had mine, man. There was a Sarah Union. Came to advise us when we were students. Well, I wouldn't say that you want to go to say, me, I want to be a politician. Mm. Mm. What for? I've seen a couple of young people who have told me yeah, directly no, that. Yeah, you see on social media. I want to be a media. career politician. <laughs> you see a 24-year-old. Maybe, maybe they have some good reason they want to be. <laughs> maybe they, they, they want to be in parliament. Whatever reason, I wouldn't say. Maybe they think it's the easiest way maybe to, yeah. to come by wealth. Mm -hmm. I think they will be making mistakes. <laughs> I was because, going to say, uh, is that is, is that it's, true? It's, it's, <laughs> to me, it, it's not true. Mm. From my experience, because I've I'm a politician, mm -hmm. if you, you don't mind, because yes. I've been involved before. Well, I've course. been a member of parliament, yeah. and then I've been party holding. executive. Yeah, I've been a CPP person. Yeah. I've crossed over to NDP, and I've been in it. I've seen a lot of politicians who at the end of the day, are destitute. I've seen, uh, I've seen it. I've seen people who have been in parliament, they come out and sometimes, for well, only after a few years, even to buy medicine, medication, do not, they are not, you go there and make money. You go and many, you will spend money. Some mm. may have a way of doing it. Mm. They may be lucky to get to a place which will give them opportunities right. where they will also take advantage of it, sometimes very unfairly. But for sure, I agree with Mr. President Leonardo Duncan Kufuado that if it's a politics that you want to be a good politician, you don't go there to go and make money. If you want to make money, go and do it, go into businesses. Some people love the politics more than maybe a quite You may be in parliament, you may give you give me a four will drive. Yeah. And uh, if you are lucky to be a minister, a bungalow, and so forth. But at the end of the day, you can't remain there for long. That's true. So there's no real money that comes from politics. No. You rather spend. The... Rather spend. This is my little... Maybe after politics, you may have opportunities. Mm. And then you may help people who may also help you. Mm. Or you enter into... Politicians variably are bad business. Bad business, but there's a mm. worst thing to do is to go and plead for money to help you. And you can acquire all the money to your politics. It depends on people who sponsor you, people who may help your party. So in our part of the, uh, when you are in opposition, it's difficult even to pay your life bill. Really? It's, it's true. Wow. It's, it's true. Mm. And even when you are in power, the, part, the party itself hasn't got much. Mm. Except there are people who are not seen around. Because you're a businessman and they want to have your business, then mm. they may give you a lot, a lot of money. But they will not give you all their profits. Of course no. not. They won't sacrifice their business for, for you. you. So being a politician only creates it's, it's, it's the avenue, avenue for, for you right. to, to, to help yourself. Right. Yeah. In some cases, yeah. Yeah. Mm. you can take advantage of, of it. Nice as a badly. So you could. But in, some, in most cases, it's not the you case. go in and come out and... Mm. There's nothing to show for it. Nothing to show for it. Chairman, when you were speaking, you mentioned your move from CPP to MPP. Where I was, mm -hmm. at Lambele, yeah. that's uh, where my father and my mother directly come from there. It's um, a place that is purely CPP. You come in Comarche from that place. So he was somehow a hero. Not only a hero for them, but because... You know, for National, yeah. And a lot of other people in mm. the diaspora. So when somebody, you look up to somebody that is great, that you want to associate. With a person. You go to, quite recently, was in uh, Dubai, in a shop. Mm -hmm. And somebody came to me and uh, said, where do you come from? He said, from Ghana. Ghana. So, 
Betty Pele. Oh, yeah. And yes. Yes. Makes you proud that he said, a footballer comes from your hometown. Yeah. Good footballer. Not a murderer. <laughs> or not somebody who uh, is, is on the Absolutely. news for the West. Something else. Maybe say that you're not a Ghanaian. You're different. <laughs> right. But when you appreciate what Nkuma had done and what he has achieved in life and so forth, the people there love him for really maybe for primordial reasons. Yes. Then you want to go and be a politician in, in that hometown. If you don't associate with it, for sure you can't make it. CBP. Though it had dwindled to those few constituencies. If you wanted to be a politician, and uh, I was pushed to go and do the, go to the parliament, I realized it would be difficult for them. So that's why I was on the ticket. But then, of course, I mean, I want my party to come up. Yeah. I did everything possible to get them united and push on, went, went to court, did everything. But it was not easy. Foot, footless. It was not easy. So when I went to parliament for two terms and so forth, I was considered to be more MPP than, than, than CPP. MPP. Than, than, CPP. Than, 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 than even there were efforts at some stage to push me out of the Oh, wow. CBP completely because uh, at once they say I've gone to dance. I remember that. Dead with yeah. Them. Yeah, so, <laughs> I remember the, the move. Yeah, so, yeah. And you said, if I do like this and do like this, what's wrong with what's it? Wrong with Everybody it? was in a joyous mood. <laughs> <laughs> and therefore, I decided that when NPP then lost power, mm -hmm. and I said, then I will join. You would come in and help. Join it um, so that nobody would say that I've joined the power. When they were yeah, winning. Absolutely. Win. So you came in when win. things were not so good, good. and you were part of the effort to bring, to bring the MPP back yeah. to power. Yes, As an individual and part of the team, yeah. 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 To us, unfortunately, fortunately, uh, we still here. So. We came but in hindsight, with, with this, in hindsight, today, do you believe that this was a, a good decision politically obvious, for you? Obvious. It is, uh, unfortunately, let me say something. It's be synthesis. And it, in any case, some even tell me, and I know that my antecedents, so mm. UGCC, said that UGCC, I had to play a very significant role. Oh, wow. And therefore, the root of MPP itself is traced to the From UGCC. The UGCC. Yes. So there was nothing wrong by nothing wrong. going back home. The CPP is in Tatas, and so are the other smaller political parties. Well, the, I don't want to use the word in Tatas, there are, but they are not doing well. They are, they are not, there are two main political parties in Ghana. At the moment. At the moment. Would there ever be in our political dispensation a, a third force? We wouldn't know. Who knows? Who knows? There could be an individual may come from somewhere, mm. have his own political party. And people or movement of some sort, and my catch the fancy of Ghanaians. Who knows? You can't predict. But at the moment, the dominant parties is uh, the NDC and, yeah. and, and the NDC had no roots. It's a cool tradition. <laughs> it's a tradition that was based on the coup, mm. running the school. And then later on, out of that, uh, they decided to form a party. That's the route. So uh, you are older than maybe the uh, and this. the party itself. <laughs> <laughs> chairman, yeah. there's internal election very soon. Are you vying for chairmanship? No. No. no Who do you have confidence in that this person can actually sit in or fit in my shoes? And help the party this break party that eight. Yeah. Maybe you, if you want to. <laughs> I'm not a politician. Oh. I'm not a politician. I'm just a journalist. <laughs> no, I, I, that's not fair to me. Uh, there are quite a number of. Uh, do you know the people who want to do yeah, it? Do you know, know all of them? Quite a, okay. No, for now. For now. I know they have not paid their forms yet. Okay. So I wouldn't know. But from what you've seen and from intelligence what, you've gathered. What if I'm being very honest mm. with you? Mm. Uh, the, what you've been intimated to me mm -hmm. or from my observation of mm -hmm. flyers mm -hmm. and those individuals 
who are going Spend around. Toxins, There's yeah. quite a number of them. Yeah. Uh, I could mention the name is the treasurer of our party. He has indicated that he wants to, as it were, mm -hmm. be the chairman. There is a... Uh, Mr. Kwabna Yeboa, if I'm, am I right? Aman Kwa Yeboa. There is a... Uh, Stephen Tim. Okay. He has stood several times. And that uh, is coming up again. Sabi, Asama Bwati. I heard him on the radio. Asama Bwati, yes. A very good friend of mine, uh, Professor Akufi Ameyao. Oh, right. has yes. also indicated that he wants to be... At least I can mention this for... These people. Uh, I can't be too sure of uh, others. The rest. But at least there. these names that you have, you think any of them can fit in your shoes and help the party break the eight? Maybe they, they may even do it better. better. They may do it better. Do Let it me bring better. up a name. John Boydu, you, you've, you've worked with him. I've worked with him, yes. On, on, on the party level. Yeah, exactly. How do you rate his performance? This is also now? not a very fair question, but I'm on some side. Yeah. John Boydu is then he's worked with me. He's done very well. He knows the party. I mean, he's been a party uh, activist from the police station level, consistency, and the regional, and of course, national level. So if there's anybody who knows the party more, and there are few who know it more than mm. anybody. It, very good, but everybody may have his fault. It's a prominent, strong name in a party. In party. It's, a, it's a strong person. When his name comes up, people are very respectful well, they know of what he, 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 he Call him anywhere, on the radio, everywhere else, John is there today. So he's a very good candidate for the mm. job. I won't say he's the only candidate for the job, but to me, the way I've worked with him, it made me, plan. quite recently, this said, made me almost redundant in terms of day to day affair of the party. We worked together and uh, he respected me, I respected him among the other executives. And we worked as a team. If he's decided to go again, ordinarily, I should say, I should back him. And because of my position, position. I can't say that uh, is the president. Yeah. Let me also emphasize, there are others who say they want to be, be I know individuals, and I know they are also good, and capable. And that, uh, if, if the delegates decide that this is the person they want to give, this is the person they want to give. Who am I? Is this break the eight? Is, is that a real possibility for, for the MPP? It's not a question of possibility. I'd say we are already in power. Mm. We're doing a good job, in spite of difficulties, in spite of challenges. The president, to me, has acquitted himself creditably. Appreciate that. The economy was going up, up until COVID came. And then, of course, even amidst of COVID, COVID is not gone totally. It's been predicted, not me. You know, very good economic uh, institutions as well predicted. The Ghana's economy will soon hit 5.3 or even 5.7 in terms of growth. It means we, going back, although we went that low, there are difficulties out of it. But even the war that is going on has made it just rather precarious for other countries. African countries are even coming together to talk about food security, to talk to uh, Putin, that our grains, our granary, based on uh, Ukraine, they give us wheat for bread. They grow a whole lot of rice and all other things. And because of the war, it's bringing about serious difficulties among even African countries. Not to talk of Europe, where they are going through severe challenges because of what has happened. It has affected us as well. So definitely, within the few months, we're going to face the difficulties. Irrespective of that, in spite of that, this economy has been resilient. That shows that it's been under good management. In spite of the difficulties, if there had not been these problems, I can assure you that things will be better. But of course, 
always people ask for more. People try to make it look, when there are a few instances where people have, uh, as I said, crossed the red light mm. and lined their pockets. I keep telling people that there is an account proverb. If you bear a minister in the past, there will be people who have gone to jail for being in government and done very bad things. In the past, that after the government has gone on, you've seen the very bad things they've done. I wouldn't say that after our government, you will find uh, people who might have oh. done bad things. But on the whole, it's not been bad. Institutions have been empowered to ensure that we check these excesses so that our economy remains a good economy right. and money doesn't go into the wrong guard. It's not been easy. Mm. I might say it has not been easy. But on the whole, on the west coast of Africa, Ghana has done slightly, if not more, then more or then better. And therefore, this government, MPP government, who can manage the economy, deserves to be given. And a therefore, break I, the like, I like that you say that things are not easy. I like that you actually admit it. I mean, that I mean are there, are, there are people like the civil society groups, like Imani, etc. They are saying that it's not because of COVID and the whole Russia war that the economy is bad. What would you say to That's, people it, like this? They, they have opinion. Mm. And, I, and I respect opinion that some of them have. In the 18th century, they were talking about uh, those who got themselves involved in studying to rule governments, uh, to be part of the government, and catering, I won't say catering the terror, catering the press, so the Russian mm. uh, leader at that time, who was part of this salon in France where they studied and prepared themselves. For that. And then they said, look, you were part of this. Uh, now what you are doing is not exactly what we wanted you to do. He says, yes, you are writing scripts. Mm. Paper. I'm right on the skin of men. Mm. I'm ruling. Mm. Ruling is not easy. It's not easy that you come and sit in your room and then maybe punch a few calculations and, and make a reason and say, you could do this, you could do that. It's like commentators looking at football playing. And if you don't take it, they know there's names. This man is, can do this, can do that. Why and they themselves? Play. They can't even play. <laughs> they comment. Look. Wow. Yes, it's good to have think tanks, civil society to have. It's good. Nice. They keep the government on doors. They are almost opposition. They are almost like a fourth state. You. They should have them. But it's not that whatever they may say, ex cathedral pronouncement mm. is the best or so. They should do some calculation and then take government on. In some cases, I must be honest, they've been right. They've been on a point you get it. But mostly about government now they unfortunately now turn into opponents of the government. And that government bashing is almost what they think credentials will give them good marks. That's not so. Right. This government is doing well, they must admit it. Now, they are saying that it's not because of COVID. Neither is it because of the Russian war. That's what they are saying. If COVID made it even difficult when you're importing a container from, from China. Yeah. Double it, triple it. Mm. Oil prices moving up. We are net importer of oil. If the economy is bad, mm. oil prices are going Shooting up, inflation up. coming up. And you say, no, irrespective of that, the economy should be good. I wish they would stand for election and get elected themselves. Mm. You have the theorists come out with their manifesto. How if oil is moving up, they will put it down or bring it down. If uh, prices of goods are going up, they have a magic wand of making uh, <laughs> real water become beer. Mm. Let them do that. <laughs> so does that I mean, I mean, from everything you are saying, that means former President Mohammed's statement to Baumia wasn't far from the truth, that if you are not in government, don't criticize government yet. No, that, that's not, that's the difference. And don't okay. strike it that way. Okay. That, that, we are all involved in politics. Right. We come to one party, ah. we alternate politics. I criticize you, criticize me. Mm -hmm. I said, listen to you, if you criticize me, and I bet there are people who say they are for them, they are ten times. Mm. They, they are not even, they even Part claim, they are not even Part of the political uh, at, all. at all. Yeah. And yet they still have the solution. Different from say, we are always a politician. 
who is vice president, who at that time, a vice presidential candidate, who written a manifesto, mm -hmm. looked at the economy and did that and said, this is what we want to do. It's different. If I criticize you and you say that unless you become a, uh, what is it, a president, you can't criticize mm -hmm. a president. That's, to me, is totally, totally wrong. Interesting. Chema, we have spoken largely Hello, about dear. how tough things are and how, you know, the Russian-Ukraine war and also COVID-19 has, you know, destroyed a lot of economies. We, we saw the news of the 25 million Ghana cities that has been allocated to the building, the building of the National, National Cathedral. Cathedral. Is this a good time to release that kind of money for that project? What a question. <laughs> oh, it, it should release that down or it should release the evening. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a tough time. It's a tough time. Things are tough right now. Yes. <laughs> Things are tough. Mm -hmm. Is it a good time to have free education? Things are tough. Hey, I, I, is it a good I, time I to have two meals a day? Things are tough. There is a, a proverb that says, look, a coffee did It's true that coffee did A coffee did Now, we still have economy to run. Mm. We still have budget to run. If you put up five million, five million to the, in a realm of tens in the country, yet, it's not outrageous. Twenty-five. Yeah. Twenty-five, yes. 25, Ghana cities, yes. It's not outrageous in the realm of tens. Towards what we call a national. Uh, of course, there is a. Even there is a, a mosque, which other countries have done for us, have come to build for us. Okay. Let's yeah. say Turkey, mm. come to put up a mosque. It's not, we are not capping hand that even a mosque should be built for us, this should be done for us. If we say we want to put up a cathedral where many Christians will also gather, it becomes a, a national cathedral for all denominations mm. to meet and do that. I believe the plan that me, I've seen, I've read about, and I've listened to the church, he said that at the end of the day, it might even turn out to be a place where people go, pay money, and stay there or do things there. And it will bring a balance, positive balance. Some revenue. To revenue to us. And uh, putting it up, it's the same thing when people are putting up Jubilee House. Some say that when they come, they turn it into a hand, a hand okay. group. That was unnecessary. Let's be serious about building this uh, Akusumbo Dam. Some said it's a prestige project. The Tema uh, motorway that this time is the only very good way. I see it getting square. Yeah. Some said it's, it's not worth it. There will always be criticism against positive self attitude. You may a young man, but you've known. National health insurance, some say it's not good. The same way, free education, also, some criticize it. Um, me, I've, I've looked around. A lot of things that some may say that we should forget it. We shouldn't do that for this. They give, have good reasons to give, to say, don't do this things and do nothing. If we give you even scissors and say, cut, say, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it, maybe make noise on your head. <laughs> Governance is about taking steps, doing things. Some of them, let me be very honest to admit it, may turn out to be the best out of things. But Government must be proactive. The bold steps. National Cathedral, we are predominantly Christian in this country. Various denominations. Individuals are putting up huge, huge uh, mansions for cathedrals and so forth. Same individuals. Government doesn't tax them. And if you have come together, many of them have come to say, this is a national cathedral. Let's ignore the criticism and move on. And move on. Let's move on. Chairman, yes. I'm sure you'd have some one or two things to tell Ghanaians because, I mean, Ghanaians are complaining. Of course, as chairman of the political party in power, I would like to look into the camera and tell Ghanaians something to console us. Is hope coming? To give us hope. You see, you put me in a, even a fix. The way you framed your question, <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> When he says the Ghanaians are complaining, and they are, they are, just say something to console. It's just, I have already in the in the in the conversation said a number of things. that things are not easy. Exactly. And then let's brace ourselves for the difficulties. Mm -hmm. 
and then work harder, go the extra mile, mm. mile mm. and cut some some of the things that you could do. These days, uh, I was yesterday with some somebody gave me a lift, and he says, you used to buy the car that is riding, but a year ago you used to buy only three fifty two. Sell it sure. now it's seven hundred yeah. and it's becoming difficult. Yeah. Almost double yeah. the price. Yeah. You say it's true. I agree with you. Same thing. So um, I have a car which is bigger, consumes more. So sometimes I've decided I don't want to, to go. Pack it. So let's let's see how we can cut a few things that we used to do. Which if we can drink two beer a day by with our friends, let's make it one. If we can go to a funeral every day. Every week, let's make it only one. In villages, how they put together all funerals in a month or in two months, and they make it. It reduces the cost of life for us. Things are difficult. Once things change, we should learn also to adapt. Uh, I'm not saying that because uh, uh, things are changing, things are hard, and for that, my government should raise up. It's nonsense. And throwing the towel. No, no, no. The government is doing well. To the extent you realize that even the president has come out to order that ministers and government officials cut their, their pay by a third. It's difficult for some people. I know somebody that that's what I survive on. That's what I, I look, pay my school fees. I'm cutting it by 30%. Does it mean that when the time comes for me to go on pension, will it be calculated? How do I go about it? Desperate moment, desperate actions. Absolutely. Desperate moment. At this point in time, in some countries, they are not being paid. They, they are mentally paid or coming. In West African could some places like that. And in some places, people have turned into criminals. In Nigeria, things are almost making it impossible. If you are not careful, that's what will happen. We need to manage ourselves yeah. and government will also do well by ensuring that we don't do things that make you the, the populace over excited. The moment at the moment is heated and therefore should do things to make it calm down. Yeah. We are in difficulty. But that doesn't mean that this country yeah. is a poor country. Yeah. These difficulties will take too long. And I believe, and I am aware, government is doing as much as possible mm. to reduce the impact. If they better sooner than later, mm. it will be a turn of the past. So it's, it's a plea to ourselves, to everybody else, that these are not the same of what they used to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's getting better, particularly if we have confidence yeah. in the government that they don't give up. Yeah. For MPP government, they don't give up and they don't buy into agitation and mere propaganda and thinking that the people are mismanaging everything. No, I don't think so. This country is still under good management, under the presidency that, that uh, I'm not good for. Right. Sure. From the day where you, you asked if you do like this and do like this, what is wrong with it? <laughs> I was like, okay, this is a man who yeah. really speaks his mind mm. and would not hold his tongue and would not, you know, hide behind politics and say the wrong things. Thank you for selecting. I wish I could do better. But, mm. Uh, mm. Please, we are all human. <laughs> this game, it's sometimes not easy. Mm. We do the best we can. May God bless us all. Indeed, and amen. Keep on helping us the best we can. We haven't seen the best yet. This country hasn't seen the best in this yet. Mm. And your time, it will soon come up. Like we have one father of one. Mm. I wish you could move on. I don't know when you will yeah, start yours. She, she's going to be one uh, soon. Sooner, <laughs> sooner than later. Sooner than later. Let the future be bright for your children. Mm. And it's a, this country is a beautiful country with mm. uh, tremendous resources that go to the But it's not that the resources that will make this country good is a management of the resource, the leadership, inspired leadership. Seeing countries that have moved like hurricane, they moved on. Uh, I believe that if we allow ourselves a little time, elbow room, sooner than later, 
we will do very well. Of course, we will not always be satisfied. Mm. Even more, we will ask for more. Like Oliver Trace. Yeah, more. always asking for, ask more. for more. But that's what it's supposed to be. That's what it is. Sometimes we mess up a bit, but who hasn't messed up? Everybody does. If you don't, hands in the air. Yeah. <laughs> How does, how does chairman, you know, let down and have a good time after all the busy schedules? Well, I, I love to listen to a little music if I have time. I like to converse. Politics almost consumes you. Mm. Come home, people are here with you to talk politics. I think yeah, we saw that. We saw that. <laughs> we saw that. <laughs> From morning yeah. to the evening, if you are not careful, you can't go to your office. People will be waiting for you in your there office. As well. You need to go and meet them as well and do. But when you have a little time, it's life is short, man. I would love good food. I love no. to take a good drink if I can afford it. And I would love to drive in a good, nice car. Why not? Time is short. But it's not all the time that we could do. I must be reasonable in my mm. cravings, reasonable in my expenditure. And if, if I can help people who come to me and I have the means, I won't give them all what I have. Mm -hmm. But the little I have, I share. Thank you all of it. You definitely share. What kind of music? You mentioned music. Guys. Jazz. Jazz. I love jazz. Okay. Not only jazz. But I love... Chetawale. Okay. I love this okay. music. Okay. I love... Uh, wow. <laughs> uh, the others. I love high life music. Okay. Many of them are my, my friends. All oh, right. Yes, and... Uh, I love, I love enjoying a little. I'm from the West, you know. Yes. Western region, where the best come from. We love music, love dancing. These days, that maybe I'm old and I can't. Oh, so you can dance? Go to disco. Do you want us I to do to... some steps? No, not now. <laughs> uh, I, I, I love, love that you are wine. I used to love mm, mm. music, but. and dancing to it too. I used to have a, a very good friend. Uh, now this is I don't see him. Ben Braco. Ben Braco. Oh. I'm That's a good friend yeah, of ours. Love him. To be very honest, fella. Nicola Pucci was a oh. very good friend. Me and Chamba we visited him. Oh, oh fella was oh. His, was your good friend. Wow. Good friend. Wow. wow that's we great information. Him in the shrine. What do you look at? That is the new Africa shrine. Yeah, we went there. Me, we used to, we used to do that. And oh, then, wow. I That's had a church. picture with uh, Jimmy Cliff he ah, came yeah. some time ago, and uh, we used to we met him in the hotel. So, I said, "You are Jimmy Cliff." <laughs> from then on, we became friends. He used to go to uh, afternoon jump to go and dance. He wow! Do that. I have always loved wow. music, although I don't know how to play instruments. <laughs> The Sarah boys love music. That's wonderful. You have a, you have an elite class of, of friends in music. I can tell you that's that for good. a fact. Yes. Fela, Jimmy Cliff, <laughs> that's <laughs> enough. Membraco, Membraco, Ambule, Shatawale. Wow. That's that's enough wow. to know that you that's love your great. music. That's obviously. great. But before we wrap up with the show, I would like to know. I mean, personally, this is a question I've been having in my Go ahead, ask any question. You've, you've already put <laughs> you, me on that. Honest, <laughs> you know, I know that politicians normally don't. Uh, go on pension, so to speak, or retire. So now that you are no more chairman or you, you are not vying for chairmanship anymore, what's the next step for you? A lot of people have asked me, what's the next step? I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm in my house. I, I, I follow the policies. I'm part of my party. I'll support my party. Do you have any future cancer. plans? At this age, what kind no of No more plans. plans? Would plans Freddie to, Blair like to be president? To, how can I? I'm, I mean, at this age, I want to be president. I believe these days you should leave it to young ones. Mm. For That's a good mm. idea. Like to come, to come, uh, to come, uh, That's a great idea. As uh, one Macron is a president, you should. Leave, uh, you should. I'm not saying all people should even do politics, <laughs> but people want to vote for some people. That's your. I believe mm. it's a new age. Mm. The digital age. The divide is is such like that uh, I have confidence in the youth, mm. the conscience of the nation. Mm. I believe. If you give them the opportunity, they will do it. Of course, some of them also think that the only way to go about it is to be rich as quick, quick as possible. Mm. They should hasten slowly. Build this country, you have a part of it. Because it's not, how many rooms will you sleep in in a big house? Mm. How many will you acquire?
But out of insecurity, we want to put up more. It's understandable. That's why we should put up, hurriedly do things so that this country, collectively, we, we prosper. So that uh, we don't become like, excuse my language, not diplomatic, come like Nigeria, where it becomes people are uh, kidnapping, people are shooting people mm. and making life look like it's nothing. This country is a blessed country. Indeed. We understand ourselves and we must continue to do that. You should not slide into something else. And uh, a lot depends on you, the younger ones who are coming up. A lot depends on we, the fathers, who should also inspire the children and do good things and set better examples. It's not easy, I agree. It's not. But Let's keep on trying together. Right. Wow. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> that was a good talk. Sherman, thank you for thank your time. Thank you so much. I thank you. Bless. Yes, bless. <laughs> and the Jackie. Yes, sir. Young ones. And, and uh, if you've not been a mother, try soon. Ah, okay. she's, she's trying. Yeah. And then, uh, I've not started. <laughs> but I'll start. <laughs> she passes the plus to try. <laughs> Let's mm -hmm. all praise fathers. Oh, okay. Put down well. <laughs> yeah. Is that not so? Yes, yes. that's so. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you so much, Evan. I have learned a lot. I hope you have too. Uh, that was uh, such a wonderful conversation. conversation. So revealing. You know what they say. If you don't judge someone until you speak to yeah. them, you know. Like, you have to Absolutely know somebody before you can be able it. to speak about them. So, yeah. It. That's what we did today. Spoke to Chairman Freddie Blay in his home. And uh, we are so happy he spent his time with us. Thank you all for watching. My name is Bliss King. Well, my name is Jackie.